In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a state indicator within Dundas BI. So to start, let's get some data onto the dashboard. I'm going to work with a data cube that we've defined, and I have a column in here called value. So value will always return a number between 0 and 100. So first of all, I have no way of refreshing this data right now because it's cached. Uh, this is something that's built into Dundas BI to help with performance. But in this case, this is real-time data that I want to use, so I need to turn off data caching. So to do that, let's just go into the metric set and bypass our data cache. This doesn't have a lot to do with state indicators, but if you're using a real-time indicator, you might want to know this. And now you'll see that every time I hit refresh data, the number changes here. So what we need to do is actually define some states for these values. Um, let's resize the control and revisualize this to a state indicator, which is going to give me just a giant green circle in this case. Uh, we haven't yet defined states that I just mentioned, so we only have one state style. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. If I go into properties and under look, you'll see there's a default style and a state style. Well, there's no state styles defined yet, because I don't have any states defined, right? We just have a number in here, and that number doesn't have any definition of what is a good or bad value. But we do have a default. So this is the set of properties that the state indicator is going to use if the user doesn't, you know, gives me a value that I don't understand. So right now you're going to get a marker that's just green, and it's going to be colored as an ellipse, a circle. Let's change this. Let's set it to gray. And I'm just going to change the default marker to be a cross. Now that we've got our cross in here, let's actually go and define some states. So clicking on the state indicator, you define states by going to modify data and by setting up states. But right now I don't have anything to compare this state indicator against. So I'm going to add a formula to it first. Now in this case, I just want to return a simple value. Give me 50, always 50. And you'll see in doing this, it will have added, if I go to the data mining panel, a new measure called our script measure, which always has the value 50. Now we can use or create a state based on this. So going to modify data, set up states, we're going to start by adding a state group. So we just give it a name and then tell it which measure the group is based upon. So in my case, the measure named value. Say OK. And then we just define the actual states that we want to see. So add. Let's do something low. So anything below 50. So I'm just going to tell it that the value is less than or equal to 50. Or in this case, my script measure. Say OK. Add a second state for high. So in this case, I'll do greater than equal to script measure. And there we have our states defined. So essentially, it's 0 to 50, 50 to 100 in the case of our data. Let's close the state panel. Click on the state indicator. And under the main section, you'll see there's a set of properties called state group. You need to tell it which state group you plan to use. So in doing that, you notice that we got a green circle. This means that it's actually applying our styled states. So in our case, you notice that two states were created, one for low, one for high, but our colors are kind of reversed. So let's go into these and change it. So I want my low state to be a red, and I want my high state to be a green. And in addition to the color, I also want to change the marker stroke the marker type, apologies, to a check mark. Now you'll see when I hit preview, I get my state indicator. And anytime I refresh this data, we need to get something above 50 here. There we go. It changes to the right visualization that you want to see. One other aside, uh, the states setup that I showed you applies to almost every control within Dendus BI. So if you wanted to change the color of a series in a bar chart, or you wanted to change a cell color, it's the same way you set up states. You just define it and you set up the state style that you want to use. 
So the state indicator is kind of your most primitive control when using states, and it's up to you to apply the same technique to larger controls.